fucking love, man. Got wet, so I had to switch up on them. Always have that backup pair. Got like five backup pair. Before I start this video, I want to say, hold on. start this video I just want to say this I am not telling nobody not to get back with somebody I want to make that clearly understood that's not my that's not why I make videos I don't make videos to tell people what to do with their life I just simply touch on topics take it how you want to take it it is what it is um, I'm also not telling people to get back with people or whatever. Y'all get the point. I ain't telling you anything. I'm just talking. The problem with making up and breaking up is the more you do it, the worse the relationship actually is. You don't see it because maybe your feelings or how you think you feel about somebody, but it's actually getting worse every time. You're better off just sticking with the person and trying to work it out or leaving them completely alone there is no in between a lot of times the relationships are already over right because people have broken up and got back together too many times and some might ask, well, why are they getting back together if the relationship's over and they're done? It's simple. For women, a lot of times it's loneliness. They, they couldn't find the replacement right away and they got lonely, you know, so they went back to the guy. You know, they wanted that void field. They want comfort. Or they go, yeah, they went, or they come back after they try to go to another guy and get that void feel instead of just staying single for a while and working on themselves for men it's simply because of sex not or not all the time i'm not saying women come back because they're lonely all the time and i'm not saying men come back because of sex all the time but nine times out of ten that's the case that's the case man a man starts thinking about sex you know what i mean and then he wants to go back to that woman you know, and, 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 and here's the problem with all this. Remember what I said earlier. Every time you break up and get back together, it gets worse and worse. The relationship gets, uh, you fall apart even more and more. As a man, you're supposed to be the strength. You're supposed to be a symbol of strength. And the woman is going to see you as weak, as uh, less. She's going to see you weaker and weaker every time you come back to her. Or let her back, or even let her back. Because some might argue, well, what if the woman begs to come back to you? Doesn't matter. You still broke down, you became weak, you just broke. You just broke. 
you let her back in, right? She cried a few times, you let her back in. And she's going to realize that. And now she's going to do what she has to do to get the upper hand because she feels like this is the only way the relationship might work or this is the only safe way for her. As a woman, the man understands. You might not think the man understands, but the men understand. You probably try to go out and talk to a few dudes. It didn't work, so you came back, right? You came back out of loneliness. Now it makes you look more vulnerable and it makes the man take advantage of that. Like, oh, she can't replace me or, or I got her in a bag. I ain't going to treat her. Even, I'm going to treat her even worse now. I'm going to take her for granted even more now. I'm going to use that against her even, especially if you got a kid by her. I'm going to use this against her even more. It just makes everything worse, man. For you men who are coming back for sex... You think women don't know that? She, all she's going to do is use it against you now. So you're not even going to get sex anymore like you used to. That's why I say either either work, stay together, work it out, or be gone. Don't tell a woman, I'm going to leave, I'm done with you, and, and blah, 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 and then come back. She remembers that shit. This is the problem with breaking up. Everybody remembers what happened. The same thing with y'all women. I'm done, I blah, 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 knowing damn well you're going to come back. The man remembers everything you said, and nine times out of ten, both or one of y'all have slept with somebody else during that breakup. Now you're getting the pet cemetery version of who you used to have. If that was even who they was, because a lot of times, that's not even who they are, that's just who you think they are. That's just who you uh, like or fell in love with, but that's not the real them. And that's why the, sometimes the breakups start to happen because people put on an audition of being somebody they're not at first. And then once that match starts to show after they keep breaking up, the match shows more and more, you know, but you're still in love with somebody who never was who they was. Anyway, as a man, we're supposed to be the rock, man. And the woman is just going to look at you weaker. She's going to be like, he can't live without me. Women are not dumb. She's like, man, I did, especially if she cheated on you. Oh, man, it's over with. I slept with another guy, and he's still going to take me back. You think that you're doing a favor, or you think that by you giving her a second chance that she's going to love you to fucking death do you part and all that bullshit, but it just doesn't work that way with most people. You might have a 1% that will be like, you know what, I'm glad they gave me a second chance. But most people, they're not going to look at it that way. Human nature is not going to allow you to look at it that way. When somebody allows you to take advantage of them, human nature by default usually ends up you taking advantage of them even more. That's just human nature. say well they um they love each other that's why they keep coming back and, and breaking up and coming back if they really really love each other that much they would try to work it out instead of walking away or trying to teach each other a lesson or whatever the fuck it, the case is because a lot of times that's what it be too people uh, trying to teach somebody a lesson but really the only lesson that's going to be taught is either work it out with somebody or, or um, and become closer to them and all that or leave them alone. That's the lesson that's going to be taught in the end. Because just because you uh, leave somebody alone for a while don't mean they learn shit. Nine times out of ten, all they did was start talking to other people, sleeping with other people. They ain't learn nothing at all. Because a lot of people don't want to be alone. So while you think you're teaching them this lesson and and, oh, they're going to miss me. I'm, I'm done with you. I'm, I'm going to leave you alone. I'm done. You think you, they're going to suffer and all this and all that? Nine out of ten people, they're not having that. They're not having that. It's rare that you have people be like, you know what, it didn't work out with us. I'm going to just deal with this by myself for a while. It's rare you have people like that. You know, most people, they're not going to do that, man. So all that teaching the lesson shit is just basically... Um, putting them in the uh, arms of another motherfucker, man. Right? 
That's woman or man. That's woman or man. It's just best to work it out. Um, if, if you if if you know that you really desire them still and you gonna get back with them, why break up and separate and all this other shit? It does nothing for the relationship. It makes it worse. You might as well just stay together, man, and work it out and become stronger. Because by that time, some people are gonna say time apart makes people closer. Yeah, but it all it also depends on what happens in that time apart. It also depends on why there's a, that time apart. Somebody cheated on somebody in time apart, I don't know about that one. You know what I mean? And then you got a lot of people, when they break up with each other, they didn't uh, burn so many bridges. Cussing each other out, you know, social media. You know, ain't no telling what they just said or done. I, I, that's why I, I'm a fuck another bitch tonight. Uh, I got another nigga, blah, blah, blah. Ain't no telling what people said to each other when they break up. And people do not forget that's both woman or man. You're not going to forget the shit they've done. You're going to start to look at them differently, which ultimately causes you to feel different about them. The only reason why people think they still care about a person who talks shit about them after breaking up and all this shit and show them the real them is because they still thinking of that person that they thought the person was or the person that they was towards that person before they fell out with each other. Like, you could be a real person, right? And then you fall out with one of your friends or something, and now you're you're different towards them. You're not the same person towards them because they didn't cross you or something. So it's the same thing. But nine times out of ten, a lot of times it'd be, that's not even who they really are. It was just a mask, man. They just put on a perfect audition to get somebody, and that's the problem. You know, people are scared to show their flaws when they get to know people. But you want people to see your flaws so you'll know for sure they like you for you. And you want to see their flaws so you know for sure you like them for them. You know, all this Cinderella, I'm perfect shit is the reason why a lot of people end up with the wrong people. People they don't have no idea about of being somebody else. And then when they break up and they find out who they really are, you're, you're in love with somebody they're not. Even though you think it's that person, you think you're in love with that person, even though they showed you the real them, you're really not. You're just in love with what you thought they was. And that's a big problem. That's a big problem. A lot of people keep running back to people because of this, or can't get over people because of this. They didn't fell in love with somebody who doesn't even exist. That's crazy. Fall in love with somebody who doesn't even exist. I think I've done that before. I might have done it a few times, to be honest with y'all, man. This is why I say take your time liking somebody so you can really see who the fuck they really are. And they need to see who the fuck you really are so they can show you who the fuck they really are. People don't show you who they really are until they know who you really are. Then they'll show you how they really feel about you. But as long as like they think you're a perfect person or they don't know all your flaws yet, they're not going to show you the real them. We might have a few people. It's rare though. Because if they think you're perfect, they're going to try to be perfect for you, right? But once they see your flaws, that's when people become comfortable and show you who they really are, too. Like, ah, they got flaws. I'm going to show mine now. I don't even care no more, you know? But if you're a man watching this shit and you, and you keep taking a woman back, I'm telling you, dog, she's there, but she's not there. And it's just going to get worse because you are supposed to be a symbol of strength. That's what makes her pussy wet. That's what makes her desire you. So if you're going back to a woman because you want sex, <laughs> you might as well just forget about that. I mean, if you're going to go back to a woman, do it because you really care about the woman. Don't be doing it because, oh, man, I need some uh, pussy. I'm I ah, fuck it. I'm going to cave in and break like a little bitch. Don't do it because of that. If you're going to take a woman back, do it because you really you really want to fuck with that woman. And when you do go back, do not be, oh, I'm going to threaten to leave her again when we fight and all this. Don't do that shit, man. Because a lot of people feel like, well, they came back. So every time I leave, they must be hurt and broken and all that bullshit. And it may be true to a certain extent. But you don't want to do that, man. If you're going to leave, leave. 
Not only do a woman see you weak, she sees you as not keeping your word. You said you was done with her. I'm done with you, bitch. Fuck you. I don't need you no more. You think she don't remember this shit, but she remembers everything. Same thing with y'all women. It's the same thing with y'all women. You cussing men out and saying he's this and that and, and all these, everything you could think the bad to say about him and then you go back to him. You think he's not going to remember that? That's just words. We ain't even talking about if somebody fucking somebody. We're not even talking about that. Or what about if somebody broke somebody's car windows or, or damaged their properties and all this shit? We're not even talking about none of that. What about fist fighting? I'm telling you, man, relationships have to be took way more serious. Instead of, instead of looking at relationships as, oh, I got all these chances to fuck up. You need to look at it as, I can't fuck up. Both people have to do this, though, by the way. Because you really can't. There's really small margin for error in relationships. Because once that first breakup happens, it pretty much is over with. Depending on the degree of what happened, you know what I mean? Like, if you can't get it right after that first or second breakup, you might as well just forget about it. Three strikes and you're out. Three strikes and you're out, man. It's too much. Some people still really genuinely care about somebody after that, though. But it has to be both people willing to not do bullshit. But the problem is, a lot of times, people are just who they are, man. So a cheater sometimes might not really want to cheat or don't know why they cheat, but they just can't. They just like, fuck, I just got to do it. That's just who they are. That's what they've done all their life. You know? And as for the woman, um, men, men know that uh, you're vulnerable when you're coming back, when you begging to come back or something or shit like that. And nine times out of 10, I'm gonna keep it real with y'all. Nine times out of 10, men already know that most women are not gonna discard them unless they talking to somebody or got somebody else. You know what I mean? So by default, if you come back, we're gonna assume that you get all oh, that dude, they just wanted to fuck you, huh? They, it didn't work out, did it? You see? And that's a problem. Because now a man's gonna hold that against you as resentment. You know, now he's gonna start holding things over your head. He's not gonna do the, the same shit that he used to do for you now. Because now he's starting to look at you differently. Not only that, it looks like you can't do without him. So a lot of men will take advantage of that or take that for granted even more. So if you thought he wasn't doing certain things before you left, that made you not happy. And you might as well multiply that. You might as well multiply that. And if you're coming back because you don't want to be alone, which nine times out of ten, that's why women come back. Because you don't want to be alone, right? Well, more than likely, you're probably going to lose that guy in the end anyway. And you're probably just passing up on somebody else you could possibly or getting over that guy so you can be with somebody the right way. You know? But if you got kids and shit, I get it. I already know what time it is. And that's why I keep saying, stop breaking up if you're just going to run back to a motherfucker. Just stay together and make it work because all that making up, this is the moral of the video. The moral of the video is not telling people don't get back with somebody if you think you care about them and that's the real deal, blah, blah, blah. The moral is, stop breaking up you know shit happens that don't mean you gotta break up you know i remember my cousin my big cousin back in the day way back in the day he used to always get drunk and shit get mad and be like i'm leaving I'm like, oh, fuck this bitch and then we'd be right back 20 minutes later an hour later making up with the woman she take you as a joke she laughing at your ass and she remembers the disrespect so that's two things that's going on well three now because now she's going to look at you as weak. Well, that's take you as a joke. Same thing. So, when you break up with a woman, you talk all that shit and all this and all that. And then you go back to her. Not only does she remember the disrespect, she's also looking at you as weak now. You know, remember as a man, you got to be that symbol of strength. 
She doesn't look at you as strong now. This motherfucker can't even live without me. He can't even get no pussy. That's another thing that she's going to assume. Just like men assume women couldn't get love from another guy and they only got sex. Well, it's a complete, complete opposite with the women. They're going to assume that you couldn't get sex from women. So that's why you're coming back to her, which means her pussy going to dry the fuck up and she's not going to give you sex. So you're defeating your whole purpose. That's why I'm telling you, it's best to just work it out with the woman and keep that pussy wet. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? What do I mean by keep the pussy wet? Meaning keep her uh, liking you, loving you. Because the more you break up, the less she's going to like you and love you. And it don't matter if it's her fault or not. If you want to go back, that's the key. It doesn't matter if it's his fault or not or your fault or her fault or not. If you both know y'all going to get back together, why not just work it out? Why break up and have all this shit that could, all this, um, all these uh, bridges burn? That's all y'all doing is burning bridges. You know, somebody going to sleep with somebody else. There's going to be a lot of cussing and arguing and, and shit you didn't mean to say and all this type of shit. It's just a bunch of bullshit, y'all. So stay together, man, or, or uh, leave it alone. Either work it out or leave it alone. And then sometimes y'all do try to work it out, but y'all always end up back broken up. There's got to be a reason why that's happening. So maybe it's just not meant to be. All I know is getting back together. If, if I feel like this. If two people want to make it work, it will work. So if y'all keep getting back together, it's obvious that y'all like each other. So y'all might will just make it work instead of breaking up and keep burning more and more bridges. To the point y'all might still be stuck with each other, but you hate each other. You ever see marriages still together, but they hate each other? That's what. That's why. That's why they feel like they can't find nobody else or they can't leave the situation for whatever reason. But they keep breaking up all the fucking time. They broke up so much, they actually hate each other now. But they're still together. You don't want that. That Them two people could have actually saved the relationship and been happy with each other, but they didn't do it the right way. They, they kept not caring about breaking up and taking it for granted. And, and that's another problem with the uh, breaking up, making up shit. People feel like they got uh, margin for error. Like, you know what? I can mess up a thousand times with her. I'm good. She'll be still there. And, and what's that going to do? That's going to cause you to mistreat the woman. You're not going to treat her the best way you should. You know, same thing with the women. If the woman feels like I ain't got to be faithful to him, he ain't going. That's another thing. Not only will the woman feel like I ain't got to be my best to keep him, I ain't even got to be faithful now because he ain't going nowhere. So you're not going to get the best version of her. You're not going to get that version that you got in the beginning of her or him because y'all broke up too much, man. So stop now. Like, if you are a person right now watching this and you continuously keep breaking up with a wom uh, woman or man and y'all keep getting back together, don't let it happen no more. Stop breaking up. Work the shit out. It's best that y'all work it out than to break up for a week and then get back. No, don't do that. You're not teaching no fucking lesson to nobody except for yourself, and that's going to be a lesson in when y'all break up. That, Damn, I should have not just broke up with the girl. I should have just worked it out. But I get it, though. Sometimes a person can do some shit to make you want to give them silent treatment and not want to talk to them and all that shit. But the problem is it's, it's not going to change nothing. They're not going to change. So you might as well just leave if that's the case. They're not going to change. I've seen it myself. You know, a person could clearly be wrong. Clearly. I even throw out a person could actually cheat on you and you give them silent treatment and all that bullshit. You know what I mean? But it don't matter. They're not going to learn that because you took them back. <laughs> That's the problem. People don't make mistakes on how they treat you. That's just who they are and how they wanted to treat you. So when you uh, leave and come back, you thinking you're going to change something. You ain't changing shit. You're just proving that you ain't going nowhere even more, which makes it even worse. Y'all men who think that um, I'm going to come back for sex, I didn't already told you. She knows why you're coming back. Even, even let's let's hypothetically say you're not coming back because of sex. 
because you really care about the woman. It don't matter enough. In her mind, she's going to think two things. You couldn't replace her and you need sex. So she's going to control your ass. She's going to slowly but surely control you. Because even if she's not doing it out of... When I say control, it doesn't mean a woman's doing it out of um, evilness. She could be doing it out of fear of her getting hurt from you. So either way, she's going to start controlling your ass. She's going to control you with that sex. She know what time it is. But most of the women are going to use it in an evil way. They're going to use it to try to control you in general. The evil way. Instead of doing it because she doesn't want to be hurt. And men will do the same thing. Oh, she can't leave me. She can't find nobody else. And this and that. A man will play on a woman's emotions evilly. Or he'll do it out of fear of not getting hurt. Just like I said about the woman. Sometimes it's not. Uh, sometimes a woman thinks a man's playing with her, playing games with her because he's trying to control her or something like that. But really, he's in fear that this woman might leave me. So I have to play it safe. I can't just buy her all the shit I used to buy her now, and I can't just give her all the time I used to give her now because we done broke up and she was talking to some other guy and this and this. You see what I mean? The man's in fear too now. This is what I mean by breaking up, man. Too much shit can happen when people break up. It ain't just... Y'all think it's just somebody had an argument and they ain't talking for a week and nothing happened out of it. There's an effect to it. That'd be like a car in a car wreck. You thinking, oh, man, that car don't look like it's never been hit. Still got some effect of the accident, man. Other shit might start to fall apart on, on that car later. Might not happen now, but it will from that accident. Just like somebody breaking a, a body part or something. Some people will say that oh, I healed, it's back to normal, stronger than ever. That's possible. But usually nine times out of ten, it's never the same. And before I go, y'all want to let y'all know that this shit applies to people you are getting to know too not just somebody you're in a relationship with this also applies to people you're getting to know you know you all oh, they want to play games i'm not gonna i'm gonna uh, ghost them for a week or so or this or that that shit usually don't work a lot of people think it works uh, it's gonna make a person more attracted to you and all this bullshit shit don't always work like that y'all that's why it's just best to not play games and if you're gonna uh, try to be with somebody or stay with somebody then do it if not then just leave it alone man y'all wasting time and, and, and uh, all type of shit also another thing a lot of people out here they know they're gonna get back together or they desire to be together still but they break up and they go out and they start talking to other people and all this and all that and then they get back with each other and now you got to face the karma because of what you did out there see you know, people think, oh, well, I could, I'm just getting back with my ex. I ain't got to worry about no karma. Yeah, you, you probably do. Because if you've done these other people wrong or you sold them some dream, you wasted their time and all that because you wanted a, you wanted comfort for yourself because you and your ex bro or your, your so-called ex or whatever broke up, you still got to deal with that karma. And that karma is probably going to come through you when you go come through going get your the relationship that you want with the so-called ex or whatever when you get back with them you gotta face that karma of what you did to other people you waste other people's time and you play with other people's time and their feelings knowing damn well you was gonna get back with your ex so now the karma is coming to you in the form of your ex and now y'all still gonna break up again it always goes back to the same bullshit every time. Just stay the fuck together, man, and work this shit out. If you if you know damn well you still desire to be with the woman or man, just fucking work it out. All this I'm gonna try to teach. You know, this is what people mainly do. They try to make it seem like I'm a, I'm a, I want you to see what it's like to not have me and this and that. But that usually backfires against you. Obviously, the person cares. Or the person doesn't want to be without you or they wouldn't keep coming back. 
Unless some people are doing it out of what I said, sex or loneliness, which is a problem. If a man's only coming back because he misses your sex, he's not coming back because he missed you. Therefore, it's not going to improve. If a woman's only coming back because she was lonely, not because she couldn't get other men or, you know, what I mean, she couldn't get another relationship. It's not going to improve. Because let's be honest, if a woman left you and she could find another guy she liked just as much as you or more, nine times out of ten, she's not coming back to y'all who keep fighting. If a man could find a better woman than you and, and sex and all that, nine times out of ten, he's not coming back to you after all the shit y'all been through. Why would he? Problem is people come back to each other because they can't replace each other, man. Or they can, but they they don't they don't have the uh, patience to do it. You know what I mean? So they come back whenever they can. But you know you're playing with other people's time and feelings when you do that. And now you gotta deal with karma. So don't do that. Y'all have a good day, man. Um, more of the story is and make that shit work, or just leave it alone. There's no in between. There's no breaks, and we need time apart. There's no none of that because all that time apart is is. Um, it just weakens the relationship. It makes y'all look at each other differently. It'll never be the same. The more and more you break up, the more and more it will never be the same. Every time you break up, it's not going to be the same as it was last time when you come back together. Every time. Every time. 